Today we're going to be talking about how to tell if our lawns need water. So let's get started. Hello and welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to be talking about our lawn's ability to show us that it's thirsty or that it needs water or it needs some attention. So, so what I, I don't have any examples to show you in my yard, but but I do have some photos I can show you and I'll put them up over here. So you'll be able to just tell when you're looking at your lawn and you see maybe a black spot or it looks kind of dark in an area, maybe maybe a little bit of brown, but you mostly see some darkness. A lot of times you can see it from a different angle if you're looking at it at an angle. Maybe sometimes from above if you're looking out your front window and looking down on your yard, you see a brown spot. That brown spot telling you that you need to water your, your grass, at least maybe not your lawn, but that spot that's darkening up needs water. So it needs water for several reasons. Could be that the sprinklers aren't hitting it properly. They're not, your sprinklers aren't overlapping and it's not getting the proper amount of water. Or your hand watering or sprinkler watering, you forgot to get that spot. I mean, I don't know why the spot would need water, but you know your own lawn, you know why maybe it might need water. But I'm just saying you don't have to water your whole lawn. If you've just watered or your rest of your lawn looks pretty good, just take care of that one spot. Bring the sprinkler out. If, you, if you're watering with the sprinkler, bring the sprinkler out, put it in that area, and water it for a half hour. And a uh, half hour or so later, 45 minutes, however bad it is, the next day that spot's going to look good. Now, if you, if you don't give that any attention and you wait, then you'll see the uh, picture I've got posted right here. That's what you're gonna, your lawn's going to look like. That's the next step if you don't take care of the first step. So you see the darkening of the lawn, you see it needs your attention, it needs some water, and you ignore it. The next step is this. It's going to look brown and weak. It might even be crunchy. That is going into dormancy or maybe already is dormant. Now, I don't have any photos of a lawn that's dead, but that's probably going to look even more overall gray and or really, really, brown, really, really brown, white, burnt looking. Almost the same as the dormancy, but you can tell that there's damage been done. And usually what happened in that case is that the root zone of the lawn, it gets burnt, it gets, you know, once it starts burning, or I shouldn't even say burning, people use that term burn, but it's turning brown and that's why we use the word burn. I'm gonna use the word burn, it's not really a burn, it's just drying out, the plant's drying and the plant's doing whatever it can to kind of stay alive and so it's shutting down. But I'm gonna use the word burn just because I'm used to saying it just like everybody else. So. So your lawn turns black and a spot needs water. The lawn still looks thick, looks still looks good, but it's darkening. Then once your lawn turns brown, starts going into dormancy, it might be okay for a little while, but the longer it sits like that, now even a dormant lawn, you should still be watering that, that area or the lawn once a week. Okay, you still need to get about a half inch of water down on a dormant lawn to kind of just keep things a little rolling. If you don't do that and your lawn, you think your lawn's in dormancy and you just uh, leave it alone, it will eventually start to thin out. Some weeds are going to grow through there. You're going to start exposing some more soil because it's going to be really thin and really hair-like. It's going to lose the thickness, the quality of it, and it's going to get real thin, exposing more soil. Once you expose more soil, now the sun gets to beat down on the soil, heating up the soil, heating up, guess what? Your root zone, creating the roots to get really hot. I know one part this summer when I measured the root zone in an area in somebody else's yard, 
and it was 120, 100, I'm sorry, 110 degrees. It's 110 degrees. Even at over 100 degrees, it's not good. Okay, so now your root zone is going to start dying. And then that's when your lawn dies. So you're going to go from, I need a little bit of water, please water me, to, boy, if you're not going to water me, I'm going to save myself and go dormant, to, oh, you're not even going to help me in dormancy. I want to get thinner and thinner, and I want to whittle, whittle away, and then you can receive me next spring. <laughs> okay, so the progression of the lawn dying, you, you have it in your power to save your lawn. Look who's going to join me. What are you doing, Lexi? What are you doing? You're on camera. You're on camera. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. Oh, she's going to lay down by my feet. Ah! And she's a heavy dog. She thinks I'm going to pet her. She thinks I can reach her when she's on the ground. And I can pet her. Jeez, can you see her? No, she's all, she's just a, but a baby. Did, I lost my train of thought, but take care of your yard. You have, the, you have the power within you to, if you see a trouble spot, to act on it. Don't just let it go, because the longer you let it go, the, the worse it's going to get, really. So that's really all I wanted to say. I just wanted to show you some of these pictures. I wanted to show you how to identify that, you know, if, you're, if your lawn needs water, Maybe some people don't really know what to look for. But, and then, you know, there's the other side of that. There's overwatering. Okay, so if you're overwatering, your lawn's probably going to start to turn a little yellow. Or it's going to kind of look weird. And you'll know. <laughs> you'll know when you've overwatered. You'll, you'll see it in your yard. Yeah, it'll look different than overwatering, but you can also do damage. What are you doing? You can also do damage by overwatering too. So, it's a fine line. Get to know your yard. Give it the proper amount of water and nutrients, and it will pay you back by looking fantastic. So thank you again for joining us here on My Green Lawn. Thank you so much for all your support. Go ahead and comment down below and give us your opinion on, on your watering program. Do you wait until your lawn needs water? Or do you water it on a regular basis? Um, do you let... Do you, let your, do you let your lawn go in the really hot weather and then you just bring it back in the fall when things start cooling off? Comment down below. Tell me how you, tell me how you do your watering. And I'd love to hear from you guys. And with that, I hear you guys have a great night. And I will see you in the green. You have a great day. Take care. Watch your butto. Watch your butto. Eat your butto. Oh, ho, 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 ho.